Tasneem Usmani. Tasneem is a vice president at Northern Trust Bank, a leading investment management firm in Chicago. She's been in the financial service industry for over 20 years having worked at PwC, Bank of Montreal, and ABN Amro Bank. Ms. Usmani is a certified public accountant who earned her BS in accounting from the University of Illinois and an MBA from DePaul University. In addition to her role at the Council, the SNEEM serves on the Board of Trustees of the Benedictine University and Kids Matter, a nonprofit youth empowerment organization in Naperville. She is also a founder and board member of Educate India Fund, an organization focused on providing educational opportunities to the impoverished students in India. Tasneem, over to you. Well, thank you, Nadia. Good afternoon. It's, a, it's truly a pleasure to be here today in the company of such inspiring women. Um, this morning has been, a, it's been full of wisdom and in, enlightenment with um, such topics, you know, such inspiring topics as, you know, pushing limits in fitness and fitness um, and, and others and multiple roles of, of women. One of the roles women play is actually uh, the CEO of their household. And that's what I'm going to focus on, um, which means you are responsible for ensuring that your household is running efficiently and effectively. A major part of a CEO role is securing your financial future. There are three, it's a very broad topic, so I'm going to focus on three areas. One is understanding your current financial situation. Number two, planning for that future. Number three, and I feel very strongly about this, is importance of educating our kids about financial responsibility. So starting with current financial situation. How many of you here, uh, here uh, know where your money goes or what you're spending on? Raise your hand. Okay, about 30%. Well, a recent study by Prudential Financial found that less than 25% of women feel that they are well prepared to handle financial matters. If women are making most of the decisions in their household, they need to be fully aware of what that you know, financial situation is, how their, what their finances are, what, what their income, um, um, income statement is, or their balance sheet is, net worth. So these are all the things that you need to know as a CEO of your household. There are many tools in the market, um, but, uh, and you can um, you know, uh, Google those, but what I've used for my personal um, financial uh, planning has been Quicken. I've used it for over 20 years, and um, actually I've you know, recommended that to a lot of my um, family and friends, and um, I do recommend that. So what Quicken does, or any financial planning software does, is it helps you track what you're, um, you're uh, spending your money on, what your income is, what, how are your investments uh, performing, um, and it really helps you to map your, uh, your goals, your future plans. Um, so, you know, I, I urge you, if you haven't started already, get a software, um, and, and, and it's very simple. All, and it is, before it used to be a lot of manual um, input, but now you can link all your bank accounts, your investment accounts, your uh, mortgage accounts, everything, and it automatically loads it into uh, the software, and you can generate reports. So what I do, um, and you can do it by category, you know, expense categories and all that. So what I do at home is I've got two sons who, are, who have credit cards and they use it very freely. Um, so what I do is I print out the expense reports um, all, um, periodically, once, three months, six months, and I show it to them. You know, show them um, where they're spending their, you know, where they're eating out, where, well, how much they're spending on their cars. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's amazing when they see this, they go, Mom, did we really do that? You know, and yes, you know, and I can tell them exactly when and where. And um, so it, it's kind of interesting. And it's really enlightening to see, um, you know, that $5 um, Starbucks coffee. 
uh, a day adds up to several hundred dollars uh, in months, right? So that's what you get to see. And, and it's really, it's really um, to me, being a financial person, it's kind of interesting, but I'm sure a lot of you may not find that interesting, but it's, it's really interesting to see how things add up. And um, so that's, that's one thing. And the other thing is tracking your assets and liabilities. Assets, you know, your home, your cars, your jewelry, your personal assets. Um, liabilities, your mortgage, your car loans, your you know credit card loans, and all that. So it it really helps you assess what your um, uh, balance sheet is, which is um, and, and your net worth. What is your net worth? It is basically your assets less your liabilities is your net worth. Most you know places you, even when you apply for a credit card, it asks you what your net worth is, and you should be able to say very you know quickly what your net worth is. Uh, I'll just quickly give you an example of you know net worth. If your assets are about six hundred thousand, including your home and cars, and your um, uh, liabilities, including your mortgage and all that, about four hundred thousand, your net worth is two hundred thousand. So you always want to be positive in your net worth rather than negative. So let's focus on planning for the future. Um, it's really important to have goals, um, just like any other goals. It's important to have financial goals, buying a home, vacation, kids' education, weddings. All these things are big ticket items, and, and you want to have a roadmap to achieve those goals. Um, so some of the things I have kind of have 10 uh, points um, in achieving these goals. Number one, you know, have a budget. It's, it, that's your roadmap on uh, how you can achieve these goals. And you can maintain that budget in Quicken or any other software. Number two, build an emergency fund to cover at least eight months of living expenses. You know, in this economy, people lose jobs or things change. You need to be able to support yourself uh, without digging into your savings by, you know, having this emergency fund. Now, if you had your Quicken, you'll know exactly how much you need every month in order to just survive and not your, you know, luxury items, but at least survival. So maintaining eight months of um, living expenses. Number two, maximize on 401k contributions at work. Currently, you can um, max up at $17,000 a year, and if you're over 50, $22,500. Um, so, you know, that's a, 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 a no-brainer. Just sign up for that with your, you know, uh, company. And then also max out on their company match. Most companies match 50% to 100% up to a certain percentage, like 4%. So take advantage of that. Um, Number three, uh, start a college fund for kids as early as possible, even if it is $50 a month, $100 a month. Um, having gone through two college tuitions and um, still paying for it, I know it's expensive and, it, and, and you don't want to wait until they're in high school um, to be able to pay for their college tuition. It, uh, you know, start early. Um, and num um, number four, set goals. Uh, it's a key to financial success, and it really helps you motivate and, and keep track of uh, track on that budget. Five, spend less than what you earn. It's common sense, but it also it's a secret to creating wealth. Number six, review your portfolio of investments annually. A lot of us have investments all over the place. If you've changed jobs, you probably have uh, your 401k with your former employers, consolidate, put everything in, in one place so it, it makes it easy for you to track your, the performance. Meet with your financial advisor annually, at least two years, and maybe your priorities have changed. Let them know so they can you know, provide you the right advice. Number seven, invest in experiences. This, to me, I, this is, uh, <clears throat> we, in our family, we take this very seriously. Um, uh, research. Well, experiences as opposed to material things. Research, research suggests that experiences such as family vacations is a better investment than material things. Humans get used to things, even those that we've long wanted, but you know, uh, having them bec uh, becomes a new norm and we barely notice it anymore. Your new purse or a car uh, will get old, but experiences are by definition unique. Number eight, create the four most important documents in your life. A, ir a revocable living trust, a will, 
uh, a durable power of attorney and a durable power of attorney for healthcare. I'm sure attorneys here can can help you with all these things, but you know these are really important documents, especially in case you know something tragic happens, something you know um, someone becomes incapacitated. These documents will come in handy. Uh, number nine, have adequate life insurance uh, for your family, especially a young family. You want to make sure that the family is adequately covered. Um, and finally, number 10, defy the Joneses and enjoy your own authentic life. Um, you know, it, it, everyone, it, stop that urge to keep up with the uh, Joneses. Do what works for your family. Every family is different and has different dynamics. So, you know, go with what works for your family. And then finally, the third topic, educating uh, children about uh, financial uh, responsibility. This, you know, like I said, start very early. Start when they're four or five years old. You know, even at that age, they know about money. They're getting allowance. They get uh, reward money. You know, open a bank account. Take them, uh, and that's what I did. You know, we, uh, we you know, I took our boys to uh, our local bank and had them open their own uh, savings account. And then every week, every Friday, they would get allowance or um, money for homework or whatever, they would deposit that. And it just gets them um, into the habit of, um, you know, banking and understanding the, the, you know, that they cannot spend everything that they get, they can save. And then also, this is a good time to start talking to them about charity, about uh, giving to the, uh, to the less fortunate to share their, um, their money or allowance uh, with less fortunate. Um, okay, and then uh, the other most important thing is being, uh, you know, um, uh, being uh, can help with being transparent. Just like you know, I would show the kids um, their expenses, show them you know how much it costs for a vacation, how much it takes to run a household. As they get older, you know, they they will try to understand. And also, you know, open an investment account, have them track their investments, buy s stocks in like McDonald's. Taco Bell or you know Toys R Us, something that they can relate to, and they can you know look at newspaper and see their um, uh, stock prices go up. Uh, you know this is a great activity for teenagers. So in summary, you know again the three basic things: know where you're spending your money. Number two, set financial goals and actively plan for the future. And three, if you have kids, start them early, get them engaged. Bottom line is, ladies. You know, you need to take charge of your own financial security and not delegate that to a spouse or someone else. Uh, and your spouse may or may not be uh, doing the needed financial planning. So, you know, take charge of your financial security. Thank you.